We're back with one of the most interesting characters I know, and that's my cousin Ed Linz, who has got such a fabulous life today even. Um, I can't believe it. Tell us a little bit about, you know, you wrote the first book, uh, Life Row. You were a, you were a submarine commander. Uh, you then went back and started teaching in Springfield, Virginia. Almost 30 years. 30 years. Almost 30 years of teaching and, and coaching. And it's funny because your mother was my favorite aunt. Really? And your mom was the one that actually did our history of our family. Yeah. And I'm going to invite you in the next year or two to come with me to Israel uh, with the Ministry of Tourism because um, it's so interesting over there if you have not been. I have not been. I've been all over the world, but never to Israel. And I've the been funny, to Turkey. You've been to Turkey because you came to see me. a very close relative. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, it's funny because... Where you arranged for me to be on Turkish TV. That's right. With their version of Oprah, the doctor. That's right. I don't know if you recall that or not. I do recall You that. also arranged for me to meet with some of the transplantation experts and doctors up in Istanbul. That's so right. uh, we, uh, I think it was a very fascinating experience in Turkey and I'm looking forward to doing things in Israel with you. I want you to know that the Ministry of Tourism was so gracious they sent me over with two other people mm -hmm. and for nine days mm -hmm. and one of the places they sent me first was to the History Museum about families and it was really Absolutely interesting. Um, our grandfather, great grandfather, was buried in a little cemetery. His family was buried in a little cemetery right down the street from where my our, my grandparents lived. Really. And um, it, what we found out is just amazing. So, I'd like to do that. I'd like to do that very much. I, uh, one of the things that I'm able to do now in retirement mm -hmm. is to travel and to write. Right. And. Uh, I, I, I loved being in the classroom, absolutely loved being in the classroom. Mm -hmm. I taught uh, all different levels of physics, all the way from the highest levels in high school of AP physics, advanced placement physics, all the way down to uh, the children who have some special needs, and I would team teach that with a special education teacher. Right. As a matter of fact, I just this past uh, Saturday was in Richmond, Virginia, doing a presentation on Team Teaching Science, which is related to the second book which I wrote called Team Teaching Science, Success for All Learners, in terms of how do you actually get science principles across such that they can learn them to some students with special needs. And I think that's really important because well, everyone needs to know. My uh, co-teacher, Mary Jane Heater, and I, along with a lady named Lori Howard, wrote that book mm -hmm. that came out in 2011 on NSTA Press. And uh, we really, I really enjoyed that tremendously. However, I finally decided to, quote, retire from teaching so that I could go to my current real passion, which is writing. And that led me, I had been working on a novel, mm -hmm. the great American novel, right. for uh, almost six years. And so, but I didn't have time to, when I was teaching, obviously, to be able to sit down, do the, all the final research, and to put out the book. Now, many people might think that when you're writing a novel, right. that you're just spinning out words. Well, there's a lot of research involved with it. And uh, I noticed some of the beautiful jewelry that you're wearing this evening. Right. Uh, my uh, wife and I flew to Vegas, where some of the climatic scenes in the book takes place. Really? And uh, she really helped me tremendously because she would go into these insanely high-end shops, like Prada, Gucci, et cetera, right. et cetera, et cetera, right. et cetera, and try on outfits handbags that were $15,000. So I would take pictures of these right. and while she was wearing these outfits. And uh, then this plays a major role in some of the scenes in my novel. Really? Also, some of the locales in the Vegas area, places that tourists don't go to, like, like Red, Rock, instance, Red Rock Canyon. I, you know that my and, daughter used to live in Vegas. Yes, yes. And um, actually, I love Red Rock Cabin, yeah, Canyon. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful. beautiful out there. Uh, there is one called 
box car canyon that I would bet a million bucks you've never been to. And some scenes take place there. It's, really? it's located on the north shore of Lake Mead. No one knows about it. I found it on the internet. It just has a little sign at the side of this dirt road that says Boxcar Canyon. And we went down it, found and talked to a hermit, a hermit. that lives down at the end who plays a key role in the novel. Really? So I obviously, while I was teaching, I did not have time to do that. The name of the book is Hurtling, H-U-R-T-L-I-N-G, to the edge. It's just an e-book. Uh, so what, you what do you have mean, to, just an e-book? Those are really important books these days. Well, I think it's important, uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully having this translated into a screenplay to be the uh, next uh, fabulously successful movie. Well, you know I'm in the film business now. I've heard that. I've heard and that. now we have investors. I've and, heard that too. Uh, which is really exciting because you know what's really neat, people don't know this, but actually um, I've been working in film for a while now mm -hmm. and I just did uh, a movie. I was an extra, actually, in Act of Contrition. Really? Which was filmed um, in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was filmed in Cheviot, right? Um, and it was filmed in different places. But the amazing thing was that I got to find a lot of the props, right? Including a cross. Really? And um, and actually, I did catering for one day for them. But I actually got to be in the most important scene in the church. Really? Yes. So I have to tell you about that later because this show is about you. Ah. So. <laughs> well, I, uh, the reason I mention all that is because I want your viewers to understand there really is a life not only after retirement, but uh, as you continue to age, you, I think, can grow and do really interesting and exciting things. Right. Uh, one of the things that I would have loved to have done this year was to go with you uh, down to Texas to uh, see some, meet some new friends and this air power thing at the Sky Ball, right. and, uh, which I understand this year is going to really focus on the Navy. That's right. And its involvement uh, with the military. And I now, invited you, but... You did, but I have other commitments. I'm going to be in Colorado during that time. But the, uh, the I don't know if you know it or not. I think you do. Our uh, older daughter is a commander in the Navy. She's a, uh, a cardiologist, an interventional right. cardiologist, the person that puts stents into people, and she's stationed at Portsmouth uh, Naval Hospital. Wow. But I, I know I, the, the reason when you told me about the Sky Ball... Right. and the various things that are going on uh, with uh, General Bill Guy and his wonderful organization, I was really impressed when I started looking into this to see how many different things they do. It's, it's amazing. Um, and, you know, Jim Palmerscheid mm -hmm. is actually, who works for American Airlines, is the organizer for Skyball. Really? And they yeah. also have... Uh, that's for the military. They're bringing in 14 uh, wounded war wounded warriors from Bethesda Hospital. In my area, up in my area. In your yeah. area. And um, it's really a big occasion. Yes. And um, when I heard it was Navy, I said, I have to call my, <laughs> I have to call my cousin. You know, because um, I knew that you would be interested and the one thing that I want to thank you, and they do too, is for the the beautiful books you're giving them yes. for their. It's science. the least I could do. If I can't be there, I'd, right. I'd like to not only be there, but bring the books with me. I've signed some copies for them for their silent auction. I know. What, I mean, I what I was impressed about is this wide swath of activities that they have, like heroes on the water. Right. I mean, they're helping uh, people uh, that, that in terms of even fishing. I mean, uh, who would have heard of that? Now, everyone, of course, has heard about, you know, the Freedom Flights. As a matter of fact, on the way down here, I flew down here from BWI Airport in Baltimore. Really? And while I was there, there was at least 10 World War II veterans who had been flown back mm -hmm. to visit the uh, memorial, the World War II memorial. Most of them were sadly at this time in their life in wheelchairs, but uh, it almost brings a tear to your eye. I live in the Washington DC area. We know. And when I go down to the mall, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to see, I visited the Korean 
uh, memorial. And uh, the day I was there, there was a whole group of Korean vets who had been flown in uh, for this. So I mean, so I, I just, in addition, everyone knows about wounded warriors, but this, I know that, uh, the, uh, that the organization that you're associated with treats it in a different orga way than the, the national uh, organization. They're the but oldest, they're the oldest foundation, and on that note, we need to take a short break. Okay, all right. And we'll be right back. I want to tell you about the Appalachian Trail. I can't wait. <laughs> so, um, you can always go to, uh, actually, airpowerfoundation.com and look at everything that's happening, and, and if you can't make it this year, you can make it next year. I will. And go to the Sky Ball, which is going to be honoring the Air Force. So we'll be right back. I'll go even in spite of that. Okay, that's right. <laughs> we'll be right back on Born Before 64 in just a moment.